Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna go over another iPad drawing lesson on Procreate. It's gonna be step-by-step -step for beginners. This is in the Super Mario universe. We're gonna go over how to draw the blue shell from Mario Kart. It's gonna be simple, easy, for beginners. Follow step-by-step -step and you'll learn a lot about Procreate if you have an iPad. So let's hop right into the lesson. Hit that like button. These are every afternoon and the traditional drawing lessons are, you know, with pencil and paper are in the morning. So see ya. Okay, so let's jump into this uh, kind of Mario drawing, okay? So this shell is very gonna very simple, right? The blue shell is kind of infamous. So we're gonna over here and we're gonna draw. And first thing I do, I'm gonna pick the library right here and go to cartoon brushes, and I'm gonna pick standard. Uh, these is a brush set that I made myself. I put it for you to download. It's gonna be the very first link in the description if you wanna use that. I made it spec specifically for kind of this kind of stuff, cartooning. I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna draw a curve. Also, I'm gonna kinda get the brush a little bit bigger. I can do with the sliding area over there on that side. So let's do that again. Undo is two, pressing two fingers to the screen. So curve right there. All right, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna find the wing. Since the wing is so close to us, I really wanna find that wing first. So, uh, or, uh, you know, second here, up. Curve over here on this side, underneath, kind of undo right there. Curve, 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 and another curve over here. We got a very simplistic wing right there. Kind of like, a, I think to be honest, is incredibly easy to kind of sort out. Alrighty. Let's turn the light down a little bit here. Let's see, bam, ow. All right. Let's go over here to the inner part of the wing. So you can kind of go over here and draw a curve on that side, curve on this side, curve on this side, over here as well, curve, curve, right on. So you get those little baby curves right there. Gonna go right over here and I'm gonna go down, wrap that bottom part of the shell. Do it again. Right on. Gonna go over here, curve around that side. And I'm gonna pull over here. It's pulling that white line of the shell. <clears throat> Now we're gonna find the bottom portion of this shell right here. Curve, right there. So the shell has an opening, right? Because it's worn by a turtle. So we're gonna draw a kind of ball right here in this area, kind of a shadowy shape. And then another shadowy shape here, kind of for the arms gonna be. Let's go over here and I'm gonna draw a line curving, right? It's hugging this. It's hugging the bottom part. Gonna go over here now and I'm gonna put some spikes and I'm actually gonna draw through the form. I'll show you what I mean. Triangle right there, oops. Triangle right there. Curve. Up over here. Circle. Kinda right there with a little bit of a point. Draw a spike here in the back. And I wanna draw the far side wing in the back right there. So I'm gonna go over here, curve up, down, down, whoopsie. Down, down. well, yeah, I'll say that's good enough. <clears throat> Before we erase that, we're gonna draw kind of the texture on the top of the shell. So right here, I'm gonna draw like line, maybe like a, you know, like a V shape pulling up. Line over here. Now I'm gonna go over my erase tool, go to the top right hand corner, go to erase. And I'm gonna kind of throw, like, just kind of clean that line up. 
That one's the most obvious, you know, uh, line to clean up, but you can clean up some of these if you like. It's really up to you. Line over here. Cool, cool. And now let's get to the coloring. I'm gonna go over here and press the select tool. It's just kind of like an arrow. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna enlarge this a little bit. I wanna enlarge it on the, on the page just a bit. There we go. I might even fix this line over here I just saw. Kind of make it cleaner. Don't get obsessed with that stuff though, by the way, you can, it can really be detrimental. And I'm gonna go over here to the color, the top right hand corner, there's a dot. I'm gonna press that dot and I'm gonna see a selection tool come up. And I want the blue shell, right? So I'm gonna pick blue. And then in the center area, so the more you go up, the lighter you get, the whiter you get, and down, the darker you get. And then to the right, the more saturation you get, the more color you get, the left, less color, more gray. So let's go into the light uh, color over here. I think that would be pretty good about there. <clears throat> Gonna fill all these in, uh, kind of, because we know that blue area is gonna be. <clears throat> Let's go over here and go back, and I'm gonna select the yellow, and I'm gonna go more in the lighter gray range, and then select, and I can go over here and just continue filling, kind of in that yellow range. And we could kind of end it there if you wanted to. If you really wanted to, you could literally end it there. But um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of shadow. So I'm gonna add another layer plus right here. And on that layer, I'm gonna go to the N. There's an N and I'm gonna lower it to about 40%. That's the opacity, how see-through you want it. And I'm gonna go over here to just dark, just straight dark. And I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna on the white mostly on the white area I'm gonna throw a dark right there and it's giving it that little bit of textured look right there um, right here, and then maybe a line right here for one of the spikes. And then over here, I'm gonna put most of the back wing in, in like this shadow, gives it this little bit of shadow there. Line right here, fill it in. Line down here, fill it in for the spike. And line right here to fill it in. And now you have a little bit of shadow. If you really want, you can kind of fill in most of the bottom here. It will com kind of combine pretty well. And I think this is a little bit dark, so I might actually go over here back to the layer that we're on, go to the N, and I might lower it to 30, uh, maybe around 30 opacity, so that it's not so overwhelmingly dark, right? The darks are not so overwhelming. And that all that is is the shadow. That's what's kind of cool about it. That's pretty much it. I hope you had an amazing time. Uh, definitely pick up the custom brush set packets. Uh, uh, the packet, it's on Gumroad. I'm gonna put it in the very first link in the description. Go pick that up. Have a great time with it. It's incredibly, incredibly, incredibly cheap. Just go pick one up. Um, and uh, yeah, it'll make it a lot easier for you. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video and I'll talk to you very soon.